Um, so my name is Sergey Sakolov. I represent here a solution architecture team of SBS. And I've been asked to talk about, uh, deliver this short talk about uh, how uh, we can support uh, deployment of AUD and AUD solutions on uh, virtual desktop infrastructure or VDI, or including Citrix, uh, uh, VMware, and other technologies. Before I jump to uh, agenda, uh, I just want to uh, set the stage and um, explain uh, terminologies for those non-technical when we refer to uh, VDI, we refer to the way of uh, deploying in AUD, AUD on a server. So instead of installing AUD on your desktop, uh, AUD is really installed on the server side, uh, running in your uh, data center. And uh, you, uh, uh, technology uh, uh, provides you ability to visualize a uh, view of uh, uh, AUD running on the server. Basically, that's why uh, sometimes we refer to the big glass. Um, all software runs on the server, and I just see reflection on the screen. Um, I've put together, uh, put on the screen some additional uh, really uh, heavy technical terminology like hypervisor, virtual machines, host servers, um, not to uh, scare you, we are not going to talk a lot about this. Uh, in fact, we uh, are planning uh, a session uh, on Thursday to dive into more technical details. Uh, today, um, in the next um, uh, 20 or so minutes, we are going to really talk uh, a few address key concerns or quick key questions uh, that are um, uh, important when you, your organization decides to go to um, and, and deploy AUD solutions. So it's whether um, uh, answer questions on why, why people do that, why utilities do it. We'll uh, really look at um, uh, details on what, so what components are expected to be configured as part of AUD solutions, and uh, talk about um, some best practices, provide you some little bit of guideline. And uh, uh, the, again, uh, most many of you may have a question on like, tell us really exactly details how to do that. Uh, we'll try to uh, attempt to do that on these sessions, but uh, I want to uh, encourage you to join uh, us uh, on Thursday in the morning. Uh, we are planning a, a dedicated session for technical uh, uh, people who wants to dive into more details. And I hope uh, uh, utilities can share their configurations and so we can brainstorm and come up with some best practice recommendations. So there will be a Thursday in the morning. It will be continuation of this talk. Uh, why? That's uh, really uh, driven by uh, business, and you can see on the uh, left and the right side, there's standard technical benefits. Or, or we know uh, um, virtualization allows to for better management, security, flexibility. Um, but what we hear and see from utilities, the message is it's really about scalability and uh, accessibility. We, we, we really, the business demands um, ways to add new users, uh, be flexible in a way how we can scale uh, organization, um, provide uh, uh, access to uh, same solution to external users, including contractors, and actually COVID presented us with the challenges of uh, even internal office we will require to, to complete the work uh, from home. So all these uh, um, business and technical uh, benefits are really um, in the mind on uh, leadership when they uh, make recommendation and say, let's go and deploy it on VDI or virtual, virtual uh, environment. So now we'll look at um, and say uh, I'll be playing a role of uh, um, uh, team lead, uh, lead, uh, team lead uh, uh, someone who been said, okay, now we want to deploy uh, AUD solution or AUD products, SBS products um, on uh, Citrix or VMware Horizon, whatever uh, technology is preferred in your organization. Um, uh, the good news is um, 
uh, you don't start from scratch. Uh, we at SBS uh, provide um, as, uh, SBS AUD solution deployment on uh, VDI best practices. So there is a white paper. You can go to SBS portal, download, and uh, some of key recommendations that we're going through today and, and, and the more detail are uh, out, uh, uh, in, in, you will find in that white paper. Uh, that's, uh, once you start um, uh, going through the uh, uh, understanding of uh, um, this uh, uh, request, you realize it's, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a challenge and it's really multi-dimensional uh, challenge because it's not only about just AUD. It, it, it depends on hardware and uh, software and uh, your best practices and organization. So when you first uh, step, you may want to talk and engage your hardware provider because they may have uh, certain guidelines and they procure certain hardware. And that's where you start. You just ask them questions. What, can, what kind of hardware uh, is available? Do you have uh, graphic cards? Once you figure it out, you um, uh, now we need to, when you, uh, it is important to also look at um, uh, software that supports, uh, enables virtualization. So you need to look at uh, graphic cards and available drivers, um, uh, what kind of hypervisor is um, uh, considered and uh, uh, what's the best uh, practice from your IT. And you talk to Autodesk, uh, maybe to uh, acquire certain uh, recommendations on the drivers for your graphic cards. But that's not the end of the story. Then you, in order to uh, plan deployment, you also need to uh, look uh, and work with your business. And um, in order to be make successful deployment, you want to uh, create some sort of baseline, and that is usa uh, usability and performance baseline. So business uh, users would need to uh, ex uh, execute some specific use cases, like use AUD on, a, for example, on a desktop, on a laptop, uh, record timing, and that creates a baseline, something that you can use as a guideline to uh, to assess whether your VDI deployment of solution is successful or not. So that's one. Um, and uh, as I uh, as you saw in the previous diagram. Uh, AUD is just um, one part of a uh, solution. So we need to remember that uh, as a designer, I use AUD, but AUD um, also communicates or gets data from other systems, uh, SAP Maximo EAM system or uh, GIS and works with the work, uh, drawing, need to persist data in the drawing management system. So really at this stage, you're not necessarily evaluating AUD, but also how the entire solution will work in a, in a, your uh, um, uh, for virtual in, virtual environment. And our impo important part, and that's what we always recommend uh, when you do planning, plan for a pilot. So you uh, now have your hardware. Uh, you know, um, uh, you have uh, all the software parts. You have your baseline. Um, the the only way to really um, assess and understand whether it will work and deliver expected results is to, to run the pilot. And the challenge uh, in, in this case is, is not because of um, uh, uncertainty whether AUD will work or not work. It's, it really depends on multi-tiers of uh, involved every, uh, components that involved in virtualization. It's a hardware, hardware with a specific drivers or operating system that creates the ability to do virtualization, that virtual machine, then delivery uh, to a user. It's, it includes a network, so how, what kind of bandwidth you have. So all these factors are so um, unpredictable. Until you put together and, and run it in a pilot, you're not going to really see, um, understand the uh, where the change needs to be done. And actually, I have some uh, good stories to share because we have uh, um, worked with uh, uh, quite a few uh, uh, organizations to set it up. And uh, sadly, you see things that uh, never were even expected uh, with a normal setup. Uh, in summary, um, 
when you do planning uh, for deploying an, a, on VDI, uh, certainly include high-level requirements and put it in, uh, as a blueprint. So this, the earlier you start thinking about uh, deployment, and we need uh, to know about this as a, at the time of uh, blueprint. So we, uh, uh, it's not necessarily changing the process, but it changes how we can configure uh, components of AUD, and we need to know it's early as possible. Um, and uh, licensing, it's another thing to, to remember about, and uh, um, uh, check with Autodesk. Uh, how, uh, what kind of level of license required to, uh, is, and support it for virtualization. Uh, we, um, uh, I'm going to share some uh, best practices on s sizing of hardware for um, the work, and um, based on what we hear, what uh, report we receive from our um, number of customers who has gone through this process of evaluating infrastructure, so we can share that, and it's part of the blue uh, of the white paper. Uh, important to ma implement monitoring tools. So once you deploy, uh, uh, because it, there are so many dependencies of different layers, as we talked, including network, it's critical to have monitoring tools in place so you can detect the issue early and can react and address it. Uh, we talked about uh, performance base baseline, and uh, it, uh, it may sound like a complex thing, but reality, it can be a, a simple spreadsheet with uh, uh, some key steps that we uh, users uh, expected to, uh, to to do uh, as part of your um, uh, of their business process. Um, but don't just include uh, AUD. Um, uh, create a poll or move a poll, that's important. Uh, but please start from uh, step one. I need to log on how long it does it take to uh, launch the application, what it takes to uh, show the uh, data from SAP and um, uh, saving data. So the, all these steps, you just lay out in a spreadsheet and put uh, timing that uh, you collect uh, if you do it on a desktop, and that's what creates your baseline. And then you run the pilot, and the pilot, uh, that's where you have um, business users, a group of uh, uh, 10, 5, uh, 15, it really depends on the size of your organization's representative size, uh, group of uh, business users who would log on concurrently and start using system. And um, through the monitoring tools, you will try to uh, kind of see where the bottlenecks are and address them. And once you Analyze, get the results, you analyze them, and you go back to drawing board. Uh, again, maybe re-engage hardware vendor, um, talk to uh, software vendors like Microsoft, or who delivers those uh, great uh, abilities of configuring graphic cards. Sometimes that's a problem. So, And then you repeat the process. Any questions so far? No? All right. Um, we let, let's uh, see what we have in the in best practices, and um, I put uh, on this slide uh, top uh, three or four, and uh, each uh, uh, explains criticality, best practice, and considerations. One thing uh, on the top uh, of the list uh, is uh, CPU, um, and uh, what we uh, learned based on uh, our work with uh, deployments and what we know about AutoCAD, it really demands a uh, uh, CPU power because it's single-threaded kind of application and it really benefits from uh, higher clocks of, of CPUs. Um, then again, you may have a discussions with your infrastructure team because you may say, oh, in my laptop I have 3.5 gigahertz and plus, it works fine, and you're suggesting hardware which is 2.5, so, and there will be an argument that uh, server CPU is uh, not the uh, desktop CPU, so there's lots of good conversations to have, but um, uh, it is expected, and as I said, uh, that's a, uh, as a guideline, um, but really evaluation of performance and impacts on the uh, hardware specs is only through the pilot. 
Um, uh, RAM uh, typically uh, is uh, good to have, more, the more the better, but it's not necessarily the most critical. As long as we stay within the recommended by Autodesk um, uh, size of RAM, I think we're good. Uh, but the larger projects and the way when we start moving into uh, complex 3D designs, uh, that's where you will see the need to in, improve and add more memory per session. Um, but that would be a part of your observations and recommendations. I, I wouldn't plan ahead, like say, if they get 16 gigabytes uh, to all, that may be an overkill. Um, GPU, graphic processor unit, uh, it's important. Um, and uh, really, uh, typically, uh, when we say uh, GPU, uh, everyone pictures the need for 3D models, and that's where the GPU really shines. Um, but from our experience, uh, it's not only the case for uh, uh, AUD. Um, we, we know it's all about user end user experience, so how they react. So when we select, an object in a VDI environment, it should be highlighted. When I move my mouse, I want to see it's moving along, not just uh, uh, following me and with the trace. So all that uh, simple uh, rendering um, parts uh, are best uh, supported by GPU. So GPU, the message is it's not only for 3D rendering. It also helps to deliver provide better user experience. And that's, that's what um, uh, we recommend to consider uh, evaluate GPU adding to your uh, uh, infrastructure. Uh, network storage, uh, uh, first of all, it certainly uh, SSD is recommended. It's uh, uh, quite uh, fast, fast access. But more important is um, what we find with VDI deployments, um, you, uh, mount their mounting drives that provide access to common shared uh, folders that uh, you typically have. Um, they're not uh, uh, in, in impact really dramatically performance. That's where you need to balance uh, whether to go to and uh, ask for better hardware or better connection or look at AUD solution configuration and see maybe you can improve that through configuration, just not to use that um, slow drives. And uh, that's basically a summary, um, and we, we see here uh, six gigabytes uh, per session, a CPU, one virtual CPU, um, GPU evaluated, and uh, here's a recommendation for um, a server to support 10 users. Um, I've listed here one of the uh, graphic cards, but uh, it's not the, the recommended, so just don't, if you take a picture, just don't try to uh, um, uh, procure that specific card. Uh, it, um, um, it actually old card. So uh, we put it here as an example of uh, what you can uh, uh, typical um, uh, card that uh, allows you to get decent good performance. Uh, but there may be many, many, many more variations of those cards. Uh, that's the slide you probably have been waiting for. As an, as an architect, I can't um, deliver a presentation without really complex slide. And if you can't see all the details, uh, that's uh, just uh, because it's, uh, it, it is really provides uh, heavy loaded with all the information. Uh, that may be interesting um, because it uh, shows all uh, the uh, details of, of what that means to deploy uh, AUD, AUD solution. It shows um, in the center, if you want to read it, uh, it's a multiple sessions um, uh, and uh, AUD with, uh, at the run, uh, running in the, at the runtime with um, uh, AutoCAD map runtime with AUD and UDAJS plugins. Um, and they are talking to external systems. Uh, you can see certain protocols starting with uh, licensing. Yes, you need to, in order to run AutoCAD, you need to go to uh, Autodesk and SBS portal um, using HTTPS. Um, 
we are also indicated uh, need to communicate with uh, GIS to get your data in and publish results of design uh, design transactions back to, G back to GIS. And it, the reason I put it here, not because of just show you complexity of solution, but because you have to remember that once you deploy a solution on uh, virtual uh, uh, infrastructure, start virtualizing, you need to open certain ports. You need to provide that level of communication to other systems, and uh, that's where you need to talk to uh, configuration team of AUD and talk to your uh, IT infrastructure support to make sure that everything is aligned. And um, it takes time. Uh, try, believe me, just to get all parties involved in configuration, uh, understand how uh, a, a, a AUD solution works, what components it should uh, connect to, and uh, configure that infrastructure. Um, other parts is uh, we need to remember that uh, when AUD works, it relies and persists certain data, so certain uh, configurations and um, uh, user profiles, and, um, and within uh, an AutoCAD map does the same. So um, um, we, we have to consider strategy for profile management. That's the tool that allows to manage user profile and restore user experience on the next session. And there are quite a few other things like logs uh, that created um, um, ability to publish. Uh, so when we go and start discuss, uh, going into more details, that's our kind of wide starting whiteboarding here. We need to really map down to the de details of uh, if you save configuration, um, like you have uh, UDHIM allows to save query, it saves in certain location, then we need to know where this location, how to persist that data for to the next session. So this diagrams really helps. Um, and I shared it to you so you can uh, envision kind of challenges or discussion topics. User profile management, um, I mentioned that's a, a part that where you discuss with your business users saying what information it needs to be persisted between sessions. Um, there are uh, guidelines, don't make it too big because it takes a lot of time to start AUD. It's not an AUD or AutoCAD starts, it's just system tries to copy uh, megabytes of data to restore your profile and that that's another um, um, lessons learned. Now we are really in an uh, interesting slide. So uh, what I put here uh, uh, extracts from some uh, messages, emails we get uh, at SBS and um, of course uh, when uh, in early stages of the project when IT team gets in uh, and initially engaged, they, are, they have lots of questions, and they uh, let's talk, or call to ven uh, get vendor and SBS give us uh, all the details about what do you expect us, how do you want, how you want to configure, or here is the specification. Uh, tell us, is it good or bad? Like, what 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 should we change? And uh, by now, you probably realized that um, uh, at SBS, uh, we probably won't be able to answer those questions. Uh, literally, we can't because there's uh, such a variation of different ways system can be configured and it, it really depends on uh, hardware, on the vendor, and the graphic cards, drivers, how you configure your system, what kind of business cases, what kind of network you have to your end users, location of those end users. Uh, all these factors uh, needs to be considered, and uh, uh, typically uh, we have uh, recommendations how to ask questions. Uh, uh, but before I go there, I'll uh, uh, explain a little bit uh, positions, uh, how uh, Autodesk and SBS uh, see virtualization and in and, uh, and the deployment. Um, we are uh, from Autodesk. Um, uh, AutoCAD tool sets and the requirements Autodesk pro provide there for real physical deployment, right? So, uh, and in any uh, issues you may discover when you deploy AutoCAD on um, uh, Citrix or other VDI, 
uh, uh, in order to address those issues, Autodesk would uh, expect uh, you to reproduce that issue on uh, on the laptop or physical hardware. And if it's irreproducible, it's going to be fixed. Otherwise, the recommendations is to contact vendor or respective vendor. It may be uh, related to some uh, hypervisor, Microsoft, or uh, other issues that uh, triggers that particular performance, for example. At SBS, uh, what we, we really rely on you, on your feedback, on uh, uh, how AUD is deployed, and we have uh, seen quite a few successful uh, deployment of AUD solutions on uh, different uh, VDI platforms, um, and, um, including, uh, as I mentioned, Citrix, uh, uh, both, uh, um, um, uh, both uh, uh, virtual desktop, virtual apps, um, uh, VMware, Horizon, and uh, AWS, and others. So, and we, um, what we're trying to do, we're trying to collect all that information from your implementations and summarize uh, experience and best practices in the white paper, and we're happy to share share with you. Um, and we don't monitor. Uh, like all the configurations. So that's because impossible. it's just impossible to do. With every upgrade, uh, different um, uh, organizations, you installed a patch set for Citrix 7.1 and suddenly the entire landscape changed and uh, really it's hard to uh, say this is the exact version of all software that you need and it will be successful. So we're not trying to monitor and uh, record all the configurations. We're trying to harvest and uh, collect the best practices and learn from the lessons learned about uh, deployments. So if, if I would be now in, on your position, I know they're pressing questions and you need answers. So what we uh, typically recommend, and maybe we can ask a question differently. So in this case, um, um, if I call support, I would say, do you have any known issues running AutoCAD 2021 on uh, NVIDIA environment? So what is a, what, what's your concern is not necessarily is it certified or not. Do you have, do we know other any known issues? And that's easy answer, like your support will be running query on uh, um, issues database or defects database and they can immediately see, yeah, there is issue. And then you will be have full information, all the information about, oh, oh, does it impact me? Or is there any way to address that? Um, same this card. Uh, cards are really critical. We certainly recommend to explore and consult with Autodesk support in a way what's the um, uh, uh, graphic card is tested with specific uh, GPU hardware things. And um, the question would be just, do we know any issues? It's um, not necessarily does it work, but will do we other any known issues. In summary, um, VDI uh, certainly can provide uh, improve accessibility, manageability, all these abilities, security, solutions deployment. That's a, um, something to, uh, uh, we see it's a trend in utilities to deploy uh, for large scale implementations on VDI. Uh, I've mentioned we have quite a few successful uh, deployments and I want to reiterate uh, tomorrow we'll have a, a, I don't know, table or room dedicated, so please join. Um, we'll have many utilities already committed to be there and I will be uh, facilitating that session so maybe we can come up with some recommendations or uh, learn from uh, others of how, what needs to be done in way of uh, being successful implementation. Uh, I can't stress more that uh, planning and uh, 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 testing, benchmarking is absolutely critical. So uh, whatever you configure must be tested. Uh, that's the only way to ensure that your multi-tiered, uh, multi-layered deployment will work. And uh, we encourage you to, for larger implementations, work with the hardware vendors, system integrators, consultants, uh, um, to kind of come up with the best, best strategy. Um, my experience, I, I remember uh, in, in one utility uh, being on the meeting with uh, um, utility IT, uh, Microsoft, uh, 
uh, uh, VMware for hypervisor, with um, uh, uh, NVIDIA uh, for, for graphic cards, uh, SBS, uh, and uh, two system integrators trying to figure out what's going on. So I'm not trying to scare you, I'm just saying that uh, for, for this as a commitment, and it takes uh, time sometimes to, to resolve, but once you do it, you, you figure out uh, what's going on, um, uh, you will be very successful and certainly benefit from uh, deployment on VDI.